All right, if you're following along, if you're one of our members here on the site, then you are up to step number 29 in the advanced voice course. We're back to working with both male and female voices. And uh, I just thought that this would be a really great time to sort of recapitulate everything, explain why we've been doing what we've been doing up to this point. So this uh, particular exercise is all about that. It's all about understanding why both in male and female mix we were using the coo vowel sound and the narrowness of it and how it works as a tunnel from the front of your lips to the back of your throat uh, and allowing you to make this smooth connection to understand a little bit about the fact that the only way that you can blend is to understand that chest voice is a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker and head voice is a little lighter and a little thinner so what do you have to do to blend those two things? You have to make the lighter one a little thicker. And you have to make the thicker one a little lighter. So you're going to go a little lighter in your chest voice, and maybe just a little bit heavier in your head voice as you come down through that area that's known as mix. And you will get a much better blend, and your voice will love you for doing it by understanding how that works. And that's what this clip is all about, getting you involved in understanding just what needs to be done uh, to pull that together. Now, if you're on YouTube watching this, meaning that you're on our YouTube channel and you're checking out what I'm saying here, of course you're not on the site so you can't get to the actual lesson, but I'll give you a little insight here, again, what I just explained. Chest voice needs to be thinned out. Well, you need to know how to be in your chest voice. So hopefully you're someone who understands what chest voice and what head voice is, knows the difference between what head voice and falsetto is, and understands what area your voice is in when you're singing in your mix. To do that and understand that is the process of getting your voice to completely smooth out from the beginning to the end. And the easiest way to start to do something quickly in that direction is to understand that it's better to start high Ooh, and siren down through your range in relationship to trying to start low and siren up through your range. And the reason why is because you're on a shorter span and less of your vocal cords up in your high notes. If you start there, it's a little easier to be there. And then come down and come through that area as smoothly as possible. But don't make your chest voice so big that it sounds like a big difference between the two. So you want to smoothly move. Now that K puts a little bit more closure on your vocal cords. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, you want to learn how to smoothly transfer from one part of your voice into another. Is that what the whole clip is all about? No, there's much more to it than that. But since you're here on YouTube, I thought I'd give you a little information. Now, for my people that are on the website, go ahead and, and, and if you're up to that point in the lessons, check out Lesson 29. It's a great review of everything that's been happening in the course, especially in what we've been doing in relationship to mix for both male and female voices. And if you're a YouTuber, come on over to the channel. Hit that button that puts you right over to totallyvocals.com. Sign up for the free voice lessons. Uh, get involved in the website. We've got beginning, intermediate, and advanced courses. Courses on how to sing vibrato. Courses that teach you specific songs and exercises within the songs and breakdowns of the songs. All kinds of wonderful material and we keep adding to the content constantly. That's what this is even all about. So come on over totallyvocals.com.